GM CEO's final decision on electric vehicles. Huge change. GM has had enough of EVs. Mary Mara, the CEO of GM, has recently stated that GM will stop burning money on EVs, and they've already started ending many of their ongoing EV models. What does it mean for the future of GM's EVs, and what will GM end up doing with its EV lineup? Join us and get ready for a huge change that's been announced with GM CEO's final decision on electric vehicles. GM has set its eyes on becoming the most popular EV manufacturer in the world. Unfortunately for them, just wishing for something doesn't imminently grant you your wish, and that has been the case with GM's EV range. With all of the company's efforts, they simply cannot overtake Ford and Tesla as the most popular EV manufacturer in the US, let alone the rest of the world. GM's biggest problem lies in the fact that they're constantly lacking behind in competition when it comes to releasing their vehicles, and even when they're on time, they manage to misunderstand what the car community actually wants from an EV. Just take a look at the Chevrolet Bolt for God's sake, came out in 2016 a whole year before the Tesla Model 3, offered higher levels of practicality, a similar range, and was considerably cheaper than the Model 3. It single-handedly proved that Detroit could make great EVs that are also extremely affordable, and yet nobody bought one. Nobody cared about the Bolt's existence simply because GM didn't give a damn enough to make the car aesthetically pleasing and appealing to the audiences, and they didn't even properly market the car in the first place. And yet, even after it proved to be a mistake, GM decided to update the Bolt in 2021 as they announced the crossover version of it, which was the Chevrolet Bolt EUV, which was the answer to Tesla's own Tesla Model Y. And then they proceeded to make the exact same mistake over again. It's estimated that GM lost around $8,000 per Bolt sold, which is catastrophic if you consider the fact that the average asking price was around $35,000. A couple of years ago, GM expected the Bolt to become profitable by 2025. However, that's not going to happen, as a company recently decided to end the production of their EV Pioneer once and for all with the establishment of the new EV plan. At the moment, the final Chevy Bolts are coming off the assembly lines, and the remaining stocks are selling at significant discounts, with some prices that are as low as $26,500 which is almost 40% off its asking price, making the car a steal. However, would you buy the Bolt for such a low price, or would you still avoid it for its ever-present uncoolness? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. Ending the production of their vehicles isn't the only thing that GM's doing to prevent further losses, and they've also announced that they've canceled their plans for building new EV factories. So with all this going on, we've got to ask ourselves, what does it mean for the future of GM's EVs? Well, the future of GM EVs might seem grim. However, the end of the road for the Bolt marks the beginning of a new era for GM's EVs as GM announced that they will continue producing EVs. However, their entire strategy will completely change compared to what it currently is. First of all, they won't close any of their factories as they've announced that they'll utilize their current manufacturing footprint as they slowly transition to EVs. They unfortunately won't build new factories either, as investing in highly unstable markets for them most certainly isn't the best move financially. However, GM CEO Mary Barra announced that they will convert their current factories to build both regular vehicles and EVs. Furthermore, Jared Johnson, GM's executive vice president, revealed even more details about the company's future plans and manufacturing strategy. He stated that the company is trying to efficiently use the flexibility and the bandwidth to be able to flex up both EVs and internal combustion engine powered vehicles as they move forward, stating that the total transition is expected to happen over time. Johnson also said that GM plans to invest over $780 million to build next-gen gas-powered heavy-duty trucks for both Chevrolet and GMC, as they've abandoned their plan of achieving carbon neutrality, as they've announced that they plan on producing regular vehicles alongside EVs for as long as they can. However, GM is not stupid, and they do realize the rapid rise of popularity of EVs, which is why they're fairly adamant that their EV lineup will start bringing in profits by 2025, and they even went ahead and said they plan on selling 1 million EVs per year. Now, let's be honest, this is an extremely hard feat to accomplish, especially if we look at how long it took even the most popular of the EV manufacturers to achieve that number. 
However, with the high demand that EVs currently have, achieving this is significantly easier than it used to be a couple of years ago. GM is aware that this challenge isn't an easy one, and they've already devised a plan that will allow them to slowly but surely achieve their production goal. So that leads us to the question, what will GM end up doing with its EV lineup? Well, GM most certainly isn't going to completely kill off its EV lineup no matter what. However, they initially won't offer mainstream and extremely high volume vehicles as they believe that both Ford and Tesla have them completely cornered in that segment. They'll instead offer more exclusive options that they've already developed, and they'll start developing and producing vehicles that still don't have concrete competition in the segment. One of those options is, of course, the GMC Hummer EV, which is being made in their first ever EV-only plant, the Factory Zero, which was known as the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant before it was completely converted. The Hummer EV is a vehicle that simply has no competition, as it offers both an extremely competent off-road experience and combines a very luxurious interior and plush on-road ride. GM will also start making the Chevrolet Silverado EV and the GMC Sierra EV in the same plant, both of which will take on the ever-popular Ford F-150 Lightning, as well as other less frequent options such as the Rivian R1T and the yet-to-be-released Tesla Cybertruck. Honestly, if they manage to put out these trucks before the Cybertruck hits the roads, they could potentially seriously threaten Ford's popularity in the EV truck segment. Plus, with the end of the Chevrolet Bolt, the assembly lines at the Orion Assembly will free up, allowing GM to produce large quantities of the aforementioned pickup trucks, which is exactly what they needed, as the pickup truck segment is currently more popular than ever, and producing huge numbers of them is a feat that only Ford managed to achieve. Apart from this, GM is also going to invest significant amounts of money into the Cadillac brand so they can make it even more upmarket. And to illustrate this point, they recently displayed the gorgeous $300,000 Cadillac Celestic EV, which is a direct rival to Rolls-Royce's lineup. It's said that the car will have the most comfortable ride in existence, while also offering a fun driving experience and a near 0 dB cabin. Plus, just look at it. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, and while we're on the topic of Cadillac, let's not forget about their fantastic Cadillac Lyric, which is a highly acclaimed fully electric mid-size luxury SUV. You'd be happy to hear that GM isn't planning on ending it anytime soon. In fact, they've announced that other vehicles will be based on its platform, which will give GM a significant edge over other companies that still haven't offered EVs in this segment. Now, this might sound like a good plan, however, making exclusive vehicles simply isn't going to cut it for the long run, as this essentially means that they'll produce far fewer vehicles than their direct competitors. However, their plan isn't completely flawed though, as they have to start from somewhere, and attacking the currently unoccupied segments will give them a certain market presence and desirability to their brand, which they could eventually use to broaden their range. You see, attacking well-established models would have most certainly been unprofitable and devastating for the company, as why would you opt for an equally as expensive startup model when you could just buy the trendy and already proven car that has a solid presence in the world of cars? This is why GM needs to rebuild its brand image and make it more desirable before offering mainstream vehicles, and its current plan is most definitely the right way to go. However, there are a few problems that surround GM, and the first of all is the fact that GM is on a deadline. U.S. states have announced that manufacturers need to reach carbon neutrality by 2040, or else they won't be able to sell their vehicles on U.S. soil. When it comes to selling vehicles globally, the company is in an even bigger conundrum, as GM simply hasn't got the worldwide presence that it once had, as both the Europeans and the Japanese manufacturers jumped on the EV hype way before GM. So they have to fight at three fronts at the same time if they plan on succeeding at making their EVs as popular as possible. Plus, they sold their European brand, Opel, to Peugeot back in 2017, which meant that since then, they haven't had a proper footing in the European market. A huge mistake on their behalf if we ever saw one. Ford is, unlike GM, still ever present in Asia and especially in Europe, and their vehicles are being sold by the millions out there. 
Now, even though they've had a considerable loss of popularity and had been falling out of favor for a couple of years now, GM is still the US's largest manufacturer and they're most certainly doing almost everything they can to maintain their position and for now it's going relatively good for them. However, even though they're doing their best to remain as popular as possible on US soil, Ford is still way ahead of them. Unlike GM, which announced they won't be building any new EV factories, Ford also invested $10 billion in three all-new plants that will be EV exclusive, making their production output even higher than it currently is. So if GM plans on taking on Ford and beating them at their own game, they'll most certainly have to risk it all and go all or nothing, and their lag is currently costing them dearly. It's a real shame that they decided to discontinue and destroy their first true EV, the GM EV1, instead of developing it further, as it would have most certainly paved the way for them as the prodigies of electric vehicles. But due to their decision, that title fell into the hands of Tesla some 20 years later. GM has, in true GM fashion, shown us that they certainly always have the right idea for what the future of vehicles might be. However, their execution has always been equal to shooting themselves in the foot. A uh, classic GM. One of GM's plans for expanding their business is battery production, so they also considered making batteries so they can stabilize themselves, which will be much more profitable in the long run than simply buying batteries, as they could both implement them in their EVs and sell them to other manufacturers. However, unfortunately, Ford's got them beat there too, as they've already begun making batteries on US soil, which will surely make them even more popular among the population and will most certainly grant them a special position and numerous benefits from the government itself. If you'd like to learn more about Ford's new battery production plant strategy, be sure to check out this video.